hey, um, AI's hit new episode uh, this week. We're going to look at the photographer, uh, trying to understand AI's capacity for photography. We're going to look focus on the profiles of famous photographers of the past and present. And uh, we're going to ask AI to explain and illustrate uh, the work, see if it understands photographic style, and if it can do something about it. So, so I will again rely on OpenAI, Dali and Midjourney for illustrations, and ChatGPT for the historical data. And yeah, um, let's uh, ask the AI. If, AI, do you know anything about the bio of this photographer? She is a Dutch photographer born in 1959. She is known for her portraits of people in various stages of life, such as young children, teenagers, and new mothers. Her photographs are characterized by their stark simplicity, often depicting her subjects in a single, unassuming pose against a neutral background. She began her career in the early 1990s and has since exhibited her work in galleries and museums around the world. She has also produced a number of photo books, including Beach Portraits, 1992-1996, New Mothers, 2003-2006, and The Crazy House, 2010-2011. Her work is often seen as a reflection of contemporary society and the human condition, capturing the vulnerability and resilience of people in different stages of life. She is known for her ability to create a sense of intimacy and immediacy in her photographs and for her ability to reveal the complexities of her subjects through her direct and unsentimental approach. Okay, so the photographer, maybe you've guessed, it's uh, Rineke Dustra. Um, just a hint for those who've been following the series, uh, the title has the name when you look at the first images. So if you just want to try to guess, just skip the first part. Um, but Rineke Dustra, and if I've used um, uh, Dali in this case to illustrate the, the words of um, ChatGPT and, and asked the AI to propose pictures in the style of this photographer to see if it came out uh, in one way or another. And I think, again, like every week, I feel quite impressed in some ways. Um, I do feel um, the style is reflected. Um, there's some use of the usual compositions of the photographer, slight elements. I mean, it's not into the detail, but I definitely feel there's something uh, of her style. Um, but let's ask AI for more on the style, actually. Uh, AI, can you tell us more? Rina Kedish's style as a photographer is known for its simplicity and directness. Her photographs are characterized by their stark simplicity, often depicting her subject in a single unassuming pose against a neutral background. Her images are often large-scale, shot with a flash and in color. She often focuses on people in various stages of life, such as young children, teenagers, and new mothers, and her photographs are noted for their ability to capture the vulnerability and resilience of people in different stages of life. So, yeah, we definitely, for the first pictures in those two, we the AI chose to, to keep color, that's for sure. Uh, we do have quite homogeneous or monochrome backgrounds, as we can see on those two pictures. Um, and the pauses are quite unassuming. It feels the human personality of those characters, I kind of feel it. So that I know that uh, all of this is completely built up from scratch. So uh, let's ask a bit more. Her photographs are also known for their sense of intimacy and immediacy. Nishtra is able to create a sense of connection with her subjects, and her photographs reveal the complexities of her subjects through her direct and unsentimental approach. Here again, the, the backgrounds are darker, but still kind of, well, monochrome here. And the subjects really feel they're pausing as they are. That's pretty impressive, in my opinion. Uh, actually, more than the previous weeks, so I'm, I'm not sure... Um, for example, the details of the faces seem more realistic to me than usual. I don't know if it's linked to technical aspects of uh, DALI that focuses its uh, processor power on on that, or and maybe the scenes were more complex uh, because of this understanding of style in the previous episodes. But I really am impressed here by by the ado adequacy of of the result. Furthermore, her work is often seen as a reflection of contemporary society and the human condition. She is particularly interested in the way people present themselves to the world, the way they want to be seen and perceived, 
Now our photographs can reveal deeper truths about the human experience. Okay, and those two pictures again. Um, I like the intimacy that comes out. That's that to me that works. Uh, the compositions are quite informal, I would say, but again, formal in the way stylistically I could imagine uh, Distra doing her pictures, taking her pictures. So, yeah, very, very impressive indeed, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I think it's getting better week after week. Um, but as we have an AI, uh, Rinek, uh, at hand, let's maybe ask for some some custom uh, composition. So, uh, AI, could I have a portrait of someone standing up, showing themselves as they are, with a friend on the side, in front of on front of a beach house and looking at a plum tree on the left? Photo in the style of photographer René Cadistra? Okay, so, so the two first pictures, interesting. Uh, they're not looking at the plum tree, that seems something that I uh, didn't get, but uh, we definitely have the plum tree, some kind of beach house, at least how it understood it. Um, quite convincing in my opinion and it seems one of the subjects uh, is stands out as being the main subject in those two two pictures it definitely understood there were two subjects human subjects um, but then the left it's the left for the viewer not for the uh, individual but anyways that's interpretation but I think it's pretty impressive here again same thing uh, obviously Dali doesn't really need to show a beach to make it feel like a beach so maybe less on the picture here on the right but it, they do look like beach houses and again the the characters have this unassuming quite naturalistic way of presenting themselves there's a sense of intimacy for sure at least for me i don't know if you have comments don't hesitate to post them below and and on the right it even tried to to kind of change with a shallow focus try to put the background a little bit away but definitely could look like some work from distra in my opinion even so here's backgrounds are not monochrome they're they're quite simple and they kind of respect uh, the usual codes uh, of her work um, and here are those two last pictures they're from mid journey like these last weeks i've been adding a small part with mid-journey. And I think here that's really explicit in what I was saying in the previous episodes. I believe mid-journey adds its own style uh, above as, a, as an extra layer. Uh, as we can see, I, I see more of a continuity with the works of mid-journey in the previous weeks on other photographers than, than a pure reflection of what it understood of, uh, of uh, the photographer. Uh, even so, here the, we do see beach houses, Obviously, Midjourney had to explicit the beach, and it, for for it, it's it's sand, sand based, and I don't feel as much intimacy with the subjects uh, compared to to the results from Dali. But uh, but anyways, um, pretty impressive in any case. Um, okay, so again, I would really uh, push you to go check uh, the real works, the real information uh, about Rene Kedistra, fantastic. Uh, piece of work um, go see exhibitions read books or, and go see online and yeah hopefully that was entertaining and catch you next week yeah.